the whole thing wobbing. I gotta say, I didn't think I'd be bringing up Madden 23 in any single video for probably the next 7 to 8 months until I eventually did a throwback pack opening, but EA did something very, very bad that is currently potentially gonna lead to some people not being able to play Madden 24 unless EA steps in and fixes this. Now, I do wanna give a shout out to Mike Vyther for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn on the and comment down below, Noti Gang. Also, if you guys have not already checked out Underdog Fantasy, make sure you do so. We do have the NFL preseason currently going on. I believe there are games today, there's games all weekend, and of course, the next couple of weeks, and then we finally get into the NFL season. We have NFL season long picks, NBA season long picks, Picks. I'm running private drafts for you guys over on Twitter. Check out Underdog Fantasy and use code Zerk. It'll match first deposit up to $100. As I said, follow me over on Twitter for my picks. And for those of you guys that live in Colorado, Pickums are actually now available in Colorado. And as well, make sure you guys enter my giveaway. I'm currently running for five copies of the deluxe edition of Madden 24. You can find that link down below in the comment section. Retweet it. Follow me over on Twitter and comment down below on that tweet. Zerk luck on picking winners on August 13th. All right, so there's a major, major issue going on in to be honest, this was an issue pretty much the entire year, but especially, and I'm sure some of you guys that are watching this video already know what I'm about to talk about here, especially yesterday as the time you guys are watching this video, I'm recording this very, very, very late the night before you guys are seeing this, something that happened here today, okay, was price changes in terms of the pack price, right? As you guys can see, uh, we have half price packs now in the game, except for Ultimate Legend packs. EA decided to keep those 44,000 coins for some reason, but every other pack, end game elite packs, pro end game, overtime, pro overtime, whatever, even the TVPs are all half price now, which by the way, there was actually a way to make infinite coins off this rare plus strategy item right here because it was going for 20,000 coins and every single rare strategy card goes for at least 27,000. So you might get a rare and just get 27,000 worst case or you would get something better than that. And you made a lot of coins. That was going for like over an hour. So a lot of people made a lot of coins. Well, what happens when prices on packs get cut in half? The market changes. Now, if we take a look here at what I think is probably the leading cause for this, I think it's the Red Zone Royale players. Now, if you guys have not already figured it out by now, essentially what is going on, and I will show proof of this, is people got banned for prices changing heavily. Now, some might think this has to do with, you know, people that did the uh, Rare Plus Strategy Item Pack and they got a bunch of coins. No, EA is not banning for that. That's not something you can ban for. But what I can tell you is something that has been an issue the entire year is EA's system. Whatever they have set up in the game that is catching people when something sells for a lot more coins than it's supposed to, which has happened so many times this year when the market crashes and players drop down 30% in price or even super, super expensive cards because when they first go up, there's a cap limit on them set at 2 million, then eventually enough sell and then boom, they're up to 2.5, 3 million coins. Well, EA system bans people who bought it at 2 million because they think that card really should have been going for 2.5 or vice versa. There's just a whole lot wrong with it. When cards Cards drop heavily in price or raise heavily in price, uh, there ends up being a lot of bands going out, which shouldn't be the case. And in taking a look at these 98 overall red zone royales, well, why would these fluctuate so heavily in price? Well, as you guys can see right here, what happened? As you can see, August 8th and August 9th, massive price difference. Why is that? Well, rookie premiere sets expired at August 10th at midnight exactly, right? So August 9th was the last day to do rookie premieres. So they shot all the way up from 285,000 coins to 484,000 coins. That obviously is going to set off whatever just terrible system the EA has set that something is wrong and then they immediately dropped all the way down to 200,000 coins today. So I would say for anybody who, you know, bought Red Zone Royale players or even sold Red Zone Royale players the last couple of days, well, that's a massive price difference right there. And I'm guaranteeing the EA system saw that and red flagged everything. Now, I've gotten a lot of tweets about people getting banned, but I've seen a couple of different things. So as you guys can see, you may not actually be able to read this because the text font is just very, very small. But essentially what this says here is because your account was involved in coin distribution, we've permanently removed your access to the online portion of any Madden title. Now, why is that big? Read that again. Any Madden title. That doesn't mean just Madden 23. That doesn't mean that just the older Maddens. 
That means any Madden out there, which also would include Madden 24. Now, there are a lot of bans that other people have also sent me pictures of, of them getting banned that just says they've been uh, suspended from the auction house, whatever, in Madden 23. That's fine. You're going to be okay in Madden 24. But there are also people out there that are getting messages like this saying they are suspended from all Madden NFL titles. So they're already going to be banned from playing online in Madden 24. And the game's not even out. Now, this person in particular, the one you guys are actually reading right here, he told me that he stopped playing weeks ago and decided to come back today for the half price packs. He had some good pack luck, and then he said he decided to build a God Squad. So I'm guessing what happened was when he says decided to build a God Squad, he went out to the auction house, saw all the prices were super, super low, and started buying a lot of players. And again, a lot of players in, it just changed in price today. I mean, just taking a look at a lot of the cards in the game today that people might have bought. Maybe someone like, I don't know, Steve Atwater for some reason, right? Down 27%. You guys can see right here, 269,000 coins down to 195k. Now, some cards may not have gone up. Maybe they did, like Marshall Yonda, right? This card actually shot up in price from 200k to 384,000 coins, which, of course, you know, reasons for that come down to set prices change just overalls whatever else right certain overalls go up from certain promos like the red zone royale players which is how you get the marshall yonda when well, now they're a lot cheaper yada yada right other players bobby bell right here looks like he didn't really change too much although we did go down from 368 down to 300k but i think you get the point right a lot of players went up in price a lot of players went down in price and with those big changes that leads the system to think that something is going on that should not be happening so this is a major major issue because again i'm sure some of you guys watching this video probably got that same exact notice either late last night maybe you noticed this morning whatever check your emails see if you got banned because if it says on all titles that includes Madden 24. Now, I've already tweeted to EA. I'm making this video right here. So, this is about the extent that I can do. I don't personally really have any connections over at EA, so there's nothing more that I can truly do. But, I guess, drop a like on the video, comment down below, share this video with EA, tweet at them. This is bad. This is, this is really, really bad. We do not want to see this happen. Now, we've kind of seen stuff like band waves go out before in Madden 23 with, like, bot issues. Uh, like that EA's bot system somehow thinks that they are, you know, doing whatever and things have gotten reversed before. So this is big. This needs to be changed. Hopefully EA will fix it. And to be completely honest with you guys, I would be shocked if EA is not already working on fixing this issue because this is really, really big. They obviously want as many people as possible to be able to play Madden 24 as soon as it drops. You know, they don't want to be dealing with this. So I would be absolutely shocked if people are still banned today, maybe even the rest of today. Maybe they'll be reversed today, tomorrow, whatever, because this is very, very obviously so on their system, just not being correct. And hopefully they just take it out of Madden 24 because it is terrible it is absolutely terrible anytime there are some you know big swings in the market which is going to happen every single year there's a lot of price crashes a lot of promos that drop with a lot of big players that lead to prices being different there's a lot of uh very very rare cards team diamonds whatever that are going to be very very expensive and prices will change a lot on those so hopefully ea will fix this i'll be honest i think they absolutely will and hopefully so very soon Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like on it. Hit that sub button down below and turn the notification bell on. See you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.